All right, T.I. confirms that his boy uh, Cap did pee on uh, Drake in L.A. And I guess Meek Mill is vindicated because Meek Mill said that Drake got pissed on and he didn't do nothing, even though I think the diss song that he dropped it on didn't do well. But let's talk about it. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. And it says that T.I.P. tip referenced the incident and we did it big in John Legend. Assisted cut from the newly released album Libra. The legend is back running Atlanta. In the second verse, T.I. recalls several moments with his good friends Terrence Beasley, a.k.a. Cap, who was killed in prison nearly a year ago. Among the shared memories was the Cap allegedly urinated on Drake during an event in Los Angeles. He goes, while I'm fighting back my own somehow, you got home. All right. T.I. raps so drunk in L.A. ended up pissing on Drake. Shit, fuck it. That was still my brother since back in the trap house, okay? Um, and back in 2015, uh, when Drake then foe Meek Mill released a diss track called Wanna, Wanna Know, he rapped, you let Tip homie piss on you in the movie theater, dude. Well, nigga, we ain't forgot real niggas as back, it's back in style. This shit is lit. This is shit, this shit that job Rule shit in 50 Cent. Even though that diss song didn't do well, but... He, you know, T.I. confirmed it five, nearly five years later. My whole thing is when these dudes try to stay relevant, these rappers, they start, you know, telling their hidden memoirs. Um, and I just think Tip want to be relevant. Tip ain't had a good CD since uh, Paper Trail. And that was the end of him. That was the end of his, you know, uh, prime rapper run. He had a hell of a run. Um, from I'm Serious, Trap Music, Urban Legends, you just keep going on. King, T.I. vs. T.I.P. He had a hell of an album run. You know, Paper Trail was a classic. In 2009, they had my college freshman year bumping between uh, that and the recession. You know what I'm saying? And um, when dudes want to stay relevant, they start, you know, telling stories. That's why you see everybody got a podcast now. And when people want people to come to gravitate towards their rap, they start putting things in their rap that people want to know. And it's going to get buzz going. I didn't even know this album dropped. I knew it was coming, but I didn't know it dropped. You know, T.I. is no longer a rapper. Go be an activist. Go do expeditiously. Your rap career is over with. This is this is not rock and roll where two or three generations in the household can go see Bon Jovi or Kiss or whatever it may be. Rap is just, you got to tell you, T.I. had an irregular rap run. And, and what I mean by that, he had a long rap run. Usually rappers have one or two albums and that, that's it. His run came from early 2000s all the way to the end of the decade. That's cool. You know, Jeezy crept into the 2010s with some good music as well, too. You know, so they have really, really good runs, but you can't rap forever. Rap, you go out of style so quick because the sound of rap changes so quick. But do I, am I surprised that Drake got pissed on and do nothing? No, this dude had bodies on his resume. This dude had murders on his resume. So, I mean, what Drake was going to do, you know, if he keep them killers on deck, then, you know, they should have handled that. But <laughs> let somebody pee on you. Like, dog would have had to fight for mine. He would have just had to kill me as a man because drip, 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 I want to pee on you. Drip, 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 you want to use your body as a porta potty on your face, on your body. <laughs> drip, 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 my Dave Chappelle voice. Like I said before, we know Drake ain't no gangster rapper. Now, if somebody peed on, uh, you know, somebody peed on, like, uh, Ice Cube or Dr. Dre or Snoop Dogg, somebody that would pers had a persona, persona of a gangster rapper, you know, I think we all be a little bit more flabbergasted or surprised. You know, you put, you imagine somebody pissing on Easy E or Suge Knight. I don't think they're gonna hit the exit, but we know Drake let Diddy beat him up, and people don't know Diddy, Diddy, Diddy get grimy. Diddy got this old clean persona. You know what I'm saying? That he's a good guy. Diddy was just as grimy as Suge Knight. He just did a better job hiding and suppressing it than Suge Knight. Suge Knight was open gangster. Diddy made gangster moves that people didn't people didn't see on the surface. And when they and when they did happen, he had people take the rap for him. You feel what I'm saying? But you know, uh, this is just using Drake to get to get your album sales up. That's how I look at it. But you know, at the end of my at the end of the day, I would punch Cuz straight up and down. He just wanted to kick my ass. And everybody that came with me, if they got their ass kicked too, they was fired expeditiously. But let me know what you guys think about Meek Mill getting vindication about Ti saying that he, indeed he got pissed on and. Didn't do nothing about it. So, pedo, not water, not not spit. You got a golden shower in a movie theater? Come on, man. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget, we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out if you have a business question, inquiry, sponsorship, video quest. All my social media links there. 
Twitter to Fast Wedding, and Facebook, Instagram. We got a Facebook group if you want to check that out. Um, that link's in the description. If you want to make a donation, just share the video. Hit the subscribe button, bell icon button, the cash app, CJ Good 313. PayPal link there as well, too. Appreciate the love support. Check our music entertainment playlist for more videos like this. Hopefully, you got no more videos people can pee on. But let me know what you guys think. We're going.